What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's learn or let's explore the navigation bar in Navisworks Manage. Okay, so as you can see, I don't have the Navisworks uh, navigation bar here. I only have the view cube. And probably you already know the view, cu uh, view cube. If it is not, then that's all right. So view cube. So we use this to change the orientation of our view to suit our needs. So let's say, for example, you want to see the side of this, that one. So you can see that you can click the front there and then you will be going to the front view. Okay. You can click that side to change to different angles. You can also go to the corner for you to be able to see the isometric view of your model. Okay. So we can use this view cube to change the orientation of our model okay you can also drag that you can hold your left click and then you can uh, drag that just like holding your shift and then holding the middle button of your mouse you can orbit it just like what you are doing in Revit and AutoCAD so you call this orbit right so you just hold your shift and then hold the middle button and then move your mouse so you'll be able to orbit your model and same with your uh, view cube you can click this to change the orientation to top to east elevation okay you can change that etc etc you can click that home to go to the default isometric view or default 3d view now the navigation bar you can find it on the uh, view tab and then you look for the navigation aids and then you can now see the navigation bar there okay and there you go and if you want to turn off the view cube you can just toggle it off here just click that it's now hidden right but let me just show the view cube okay so for our navigation bar we have lots of tools here okay so one of the tool is our full navigation wheel so you can click that and then you can now see your navigation wheel so this is the same navigation wheel in uh, Revit. Okay, so you have orbit here. You can hold your left click on orbit and then you can orbit your model. Okay, you can zoom in first by scrolling the middle button of your mouse and then you can use orbit. So if you want to change the, the pivot or the center of your orbit, so you can use the center there center tool so let's say here you want this to be the center so you can click center and then that's now your center and then if you orbit hold your left click so the pivot is now on that area okay so that's how you use your orbit in conjunction with the center so let's say here you want this to be centered so click there you go and then you can now orbit right okay next what else so zoom okay you can hold your left click on the zoom so you know that one zoom in zoom out okay i just orbit okay then what else rewind you can click that to go back to the previous positions that you have so you can use the rewind tool okay and then we also have of course the pan so you can click that hold your left click again on the pan and then you'll be able to pan your drawing Again, pan, you can also uh, access that or do it by pressing the or holding the middle button of your mouse. You just hold the middle button of your mouse. You'll be able to pan your drawing. Okay. What else? Okay. So we also have here. Okay. So zoom, orbit, pan, rewind, center. We know that walk. Okay. So walk. By the way, walk is also this icon here. Okay. So that's also walk. But walk is part of the steering wheel. So let's say I'm just going to orbit like this. So I'm going to use the walk tool. So just hold your left click on the walk tool and then just move your mouse just slowly. Okay. That's the one. And then I can pan the drawing like that. I can pan. Oops. Pan. All right. And then I can use the walk tool. So I can go to this side here. So that's the walk. So you just need to practice using your walk tool. This is a very useful uh, tool 
in viewing your model. And then when you walk, you can also go to the drop down arrow here of your walk tool and then you can turn off the collision or turn it on. Okay, if it is turned on, so as you can see, if I uh, walk and then I move, you can see that I will not be able to pass this because the co the collision is turned on, right? So you can you can't do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click that drop down arrow there from the navigation bar, and then I will uncheck the collision. And there you go. So I can now walk inside just slowly. Okay, just need to practice using your walk tool. Okay. Okay, by the way, I'm just going to turn off the grids. So from the view, so there's the show grid. So I'm just going to turn it off. I don't want to see that. Okay, there you go. So there's the walk tool again. And then we can now start walking and viewing the model here. Okay, so it takes time for you to be able to get a hang on the walk tool, but it's really useful. Okay, so that's the walk tool. So we also have the center. We know that look. By the way, look is also this icon here. Look around. Okay, so look around is part also of the steering wheel. So if you hold your left click, you will notice your pointer will become like that. So you can look around. Okay, so hold your left click so that you can view your model around. Okay, so that's your look. So what else on our steering wheel? So we have also up down. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I click this drop down arrow. The moment, okay, the collision is turned off, gravity is turned off. So going back to my navigation wheel, I can use up and down. So I can go to the next level if I want. And then after that, I can now walk again. Okay, if you want that to be a little realistic, you can turn on the gravity. Click that one and then you can turn on the gravity. Check that so that you are not floating. So when you walk, you are not uh, floating. And then let me just turn on as well the collision. So the collision is turned on. Okay, so there you go. So you are not floating if you are using the gravity. So you are on the floor. Okay, and let's walk around. So it would be better if you practice your walk tool because it's really useful in navigating your your model. Okay, just like that. And then again, you can look around, look for any uh, collision or interferences in your building. Okay, so that's your steering wheel. So let me just close this one. Okay, and oh, by the way, let me just click again the steering wheel. So you can click this drop down arrow so you can see some of the options here like basic view object wheel like this it's a basic so you also have a uh, basic tour building wheel so which is this one what else okay you, you you get the idea okay so you just need to explore this option okay so let me just close this one and let's go to another tool here so we notice this is pan okay you can pan your drawing right so that's pan what else this is a zoom window you can click that and then if you want to zoom in here, like that, there you go, right? And then I can pan again by holding the middle mouse and moving my mouse, ah, the middle button of the mouse and then moving in, all right? So that's your zoom. Okay, so we know the zoom things there. And then the orbit, so we know this already. So you can orbit your model like that. Okay, just orbit your model and then look. So the other one also is a walk, so you can click that, and then you can use that to walk. Okay, so that's your walk tool. And then lastly, this is select, so you can click that, you can click, you can select an object using that tool. Okay, so basically that's your uh, view cube, and then that is your navigation bar. Okay, so that's it for this uh, topic. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.